Well, hello everyone. So this is Rose Spirits and Messages about the upcoming new moon that's coming on January 21st. And these messages speak to three things. So what's the energy that the new moon is going to bring in? What are the virtues or the lessons that we will be learning around that new moon time? And what can we do to support that energy and shift that is happening within us? So getting right into the tarot cards here. So the spirit world and rose spirit wants to first talk about the energies coming in. So those are being bold and making the first move and a win-win outcome is forecasted. So how exciting and how wonderful that these two cards really speak to each other also. So because it is the beginning of 2023, you may want to consider looking at the things that you didn't get to do last year. And if it's still something that you want to do this year and start making plans around it, there always needs to be a practical plan <laughs> around any of our goals, dreams, wishes, and desires. So right, right now is a good time to get to it. In particular, with this new moon coming up, it's encouraging you to be bold and make that first move, make that first step towards that goal or dream and know that there's a win-win forecast that is coming. However, to reach that state of a win-win forecast and making that bold move and continuously making that bold move, there are some virtues and lessons that you need to go through and learn. And I feel that the next two cards which speak to that may be an underlying theme throughout the year for a lot of you. So what are the virtues or lessons you'll be learning? And it's about stillness and transformation. So those are the two cards that had to come out for this reading. So I'm being, being guided to actually go into the next card, which speaks to the practical steps to take. So in regards to the stillness that you will be learning, how to maintain that and how to connect with it so you get those drops or flashes of insight that will propel you in going forward and making those bold first moves or steps. So Rose Spirit pulled out a card called the Wastelands and she talks about sustainability, slowing down and tending to your garden. So that very much connects with the stillness card. You may need to actually slow down first right now before you can make those next bold moves. Slowing down allows us to recharge our batteries. In the moment of stillness and slowing down, we could also reflect, reassess, reorganize, or rewrite what we want to do this year. And also, like Spirit mentioned earlier, within those moments of stillness, that's where we get our flashes of insight and aha moments. So it's a important to have our mind be still. So however stillness looks like for you, maybe it's just shutting off your phone or silencing it for a couple of hours or for an entire day so that you're only within your own energy and that you're just by yourself. And when we're in that state, we are calling back our own energies and we are more in tune with our thoughts, our emotions, feelings, and also desires. So do take that time out. Now's a good time to do it, as the cards say with the full, or sorry, the new moon coming up. It's time to be bold and make those first move. Um, but you do need to do some reflection and reassessment of your previous plans and future plans and ask yourself, okay, is this doable? And what's the next step and how to take it and when? So slowing down also can mean just being completely still and doing nothing. So some of you may actually need to do that, just rest. I know that the holidays just ended and for those of you who are highly sensitive, you may need the entire month of January just to come down for, from it. 
and call back your energy. So really slowing down, spending time on your own is a really good way to bring all of your power back to yourself and re-energize your spiritual batteries. So being guided now to go on to the next card of the practical step, other practical steps that you could take from Rose Spirit. So the sun is the next card that had popped out. And it talks about joy, enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, and play. So for some of you, if you feel called to do so, try to cultivate some level of joy or play. And by doing so, you are actually regenerating and re or recharging your spiritual batteries. And that's where the life force energy is going to begin to build up. If you're feeling really drained or exhausted right now, then rest and relaxation is the path for you at this time. And then when you have recovered, then you're able to plan ahead of what you want to accomplish in 2023. So this is where we're jumping around in the cards now and Rose Spirit wants to go back to those two key words, stillness and transformation. The key virtues or lessons that will be the undercurrent of all the life lessons or experiences for this year. So within that stillness, you will get clarity, I'm hearing, from a lot of your spirit guides. And within that clarity, you will know which steps to take and how your transformation is going to look and feel like. So focus first on that word stillness. How does that look like for you? Is it rest or relaxation? Is it being in a meditative state and receiving what you need from the creator or your spirit team? And then the transformation will come. So avoid focusing on the outcome, the results. Just focus on the now. Be still and the transformation will happen. I'm seeing the months of November, December for some of you, so it might be around that time of 2023, the winter time, where you'll see what all the learnings and life experiences were all about and you're, everything's going to click for you. And I'm hearing the words full understanding and I'm also hearing the word recognition. So you either recognize how far you have transformed or just recognize all the beauty and the life lessons that were presented to you within 2023. So this is all very exciting. So happy planning <laughs> for 2023 for you. And I wish you all a beautiful day.